Hi there, you're probably watching this video because you want to know what the best option is for your internet needs. Do you want to go with power LAN? Do you want to go with Wi-Fi? Well, in this video, I'm going to find out for you so you don't buy the wrong stuff. Right, and so it's probably a little bit important that I tell you guys what we're going to test and how we're going to compare it to each other. So on the DLAN or Ethernet over mains or power LAN, power line, whatever you want to call it, uh, this is the, uh, the Volo DLAN. 1200 plus the fastest power lands you can buy at the moment. Wi-Fi testing will be done with this little guy. This is the uh, D-Link DWA192. It's the fastest Ethernet or Wi-Fi receiver that money can buy at the moment over USB. I know ASUS has a faster one in PCI, but whatever. Uh, we're also coupling that with an AC1900 Wi-Fi router. So how are we doing our testing? There will be three aspects of it. First of all, ease of use, ease of installation. Can anyone install it? Second will be purely speeds. And then the third point will be cost because that's quite an important thing to keep in mind as well. So for installing a new router, the procedure is very simple. All you have to do really is find a power socket, plug something into it, you know, plug the other connector in there. And then you'll need an ethernet cable. And these always come with the router purchase usually just plug this thing into the other thing. There you go, turn it on, and you've got yourself Wi-Fi. Some configuration will be needed, but it's always incredibly, incredibly simple. So if I had to score Wi-Fi on a scale of 10 on how to set it up, eight and a half, because it's really easy to do. If you thought that setting up Wi-Fi was easy, wait till you see power lines. You just need, again, the cable from your modem, plug it into the, uh, the power lamp thingy, plug it in, Right, and so performance is the massive shocker here. I expected the power LAN to be way faster in every single test and actually not at all. So with the transmitter, be Wi-Fi or power LAN on one side of the wall and then the receiver on the other side of the wall, our Wi-Fi got over 70 megabytes a second, which is insane given that a wired connection is only about 112, theoretically speaking. Now, even better, moving higher upwards, um, the results just got increasingly more distant from each other. So in my office, which is one floor and the other side of the house from the Wi-Fi point or the power line um, transmitting point, we're four times faster. Moving up even more, the Wi-Fi was still twice as fast if we go to my attic. Um, so in terms of performance, Wi-Fi definitely the winner here. So our third aspect, cost. Uh, basically, in my opinion, one of the most important ones. So one of these balls, Wi-Fi balls, 50 bucks. One of these power lines, 120. Uh, you can also buy a model that does not have integrated Wi-Fi. Uh, that one's 70. So 50 versus 70 euros, Wi-Fi versus power line. Now with Wi-Fi, you will need an expensive router, a high-end router. The one I have here, for example, um, the Synology RT1900AC. That one's about 170 euros. So if you're looking at Wi-Fi total cost, you're looking at 220 euros. Um, this starter kit from the, the Volo AC 1200 plus, whatever it's called, um, that's 180 euros. So Wi-Fi is slightly more expensive uh, depending on what router you get. I would definitely recommend to get a really high-end router because it really makes a difference. Um, but price-wise, um, they're very close, but then in speed, they're I guess not as close, the Wi-Fi clearly beats the, uh, the power LAN there. So at this point, I was actually incredibly confused because the Wi-Fi is cheaper if you go with multiple devices. Also, a lot of devices already have Wi-Fi built in. So even my desktop motherboard has a Wi-Fi card in there. Um, my Surface has a Wi-Fi card, but does not have an ethernet jack. So I can't actually even use a power LAN with my Surface Pro, um, stuff like that. So compatibility wise, Wi-Fi completely beats power LAN um, performance, it beats it. And it's slightly more expensive at first, but because these adapters that you need are a lot more expensive than the Wi-Fi adapters, uh, as soon as you go to three of these, it's actually cheaper to go with Wi-Fi and you know it's just a lot easier to use as well. So that's our conclusion. Wi-Fi completely beats power LAN. I did not expect it, I thought a Power line signal would be a lot more stable. Um, it's not, it's identical really. They're both problemless, uh, work perfectly fine in their own way, but Wi-Fi works better from a performance standpoint. 
So guys, if you like this video, press that like button. If you didn't like this video, there's always a dislike button. Uh, but you can subscribe in case in the near future I make a video you do like. Like for example, the review on this little ball or the review on the starter kit from the Devolo 1200 Plus. Stuff like that. If you want to follow the channel or support the channel in any other ways, there are links in the description for Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, PayPal.me all that sort of stuff. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.